All right, guys, this is Calf Mountain Shelter. Didn't do any video in last night because everybody was crashed out when we got here. Met these two cool guys last night, or really this morning, right? This morning, yeah. <laughs> What's your show name, man? Good morning. I'm, I'm Everyone's Pappy. Everyone's Pappy. Because everyone needs a Pappy on the trail. Nice, nice. And you say you do trail maintenance over the uh, Three Ridges section, right? That's true. I'm with the Tidewater Appalachian Trail Club. Oh. And we do uh, Reed's Gap to the Thai River. That's really cool, man. We really appreciate the work y'all do out here that makes all this possible. Well, thank you. Uh, we, we appreciate being out here, and we just look forward to uh, to more time just spending out here. And, and then hopefully it becomes a legacy that uh, we can have our grandchildren and great-grandchildren enjoy, you know, what we have, what we're enjoying now. Big 10-4. Yeah. What's your trail name, man? I'm Let It Be. Let It Be. And I heard y'all uh, talking this morning. You said your first hike out here was in 89, huh? True, yeah. Nice. That was before, uh, did you have a cell phone? <laughs> no. Right? A little before the cell phone. Would have been a bag phone, I guess, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used pay phones in town. That was it. But we talk a lot about how it must have been for guys back then hiking like yeah. that. Like, that's the real deal experience. Yeah, it was different, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's really it's cool. Change, so. What do you think about it, like then versus now? Uh, I'd like to say I liked it better then, but uh, I like it just as much. It's it's changing, but mm -hmm. uh, everything does. It's still a great experience. Yeah. You know, being an old timer, you like to say ah, I was better back then. In ways it was, but in ways it's better today too. So you just take gotcha. it for what it is. Gotcha. Yeah. More women back then. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody looked over. Pushing out of the shelter. Easily and Bob's still packing up, but I'm gonna go hang out with my pops for a little bit at the next road gap. Eat some PB and J and wait for him to meet me there. Got some sleep coming down. Baby hail. Fun snow. <laughs> Puppy, you a pretty one. I'll have a good one. That
Yeah, but like it didn't notify me and say little one red one. Uh, it was still a touch message because I had this up. Oh, that's why. Yeah. I can hair drop it later and it's bad quality. Actually, you have it. He brought yeah. it up. He was like, you need to have it. Just in case the ranger stops. Alright, right, turkey sausage. Yeah. Some light snow coming down right now, folks. Totally unexpected. It looks dusty out there. It might get a little heavy. Might turn into rain. We about to find out.
Hello, hello. Just got to the shelter. About to stop here for a little food break, hang out for a little bit. I think we got about seven or eight more to the next spot where we plan on parking it. This is a nice little shelter. Got to see uh, Bear Claw and Trooper again. We met the, those guys over at Stanimals. So that was cool. Oh yeah. Beautiful view. Like see it raining over there. Then it's like beautiful clouds right here. So I made it to this little uh, picnic area after dark. Uh, Gonna do a little stealth camp here. Time talking to uh, Bear Claw and Trooper, two guys we met at at Stanimals. We saw them at the last little, uh, not hostel, at the last shelter we passed up. Pulled in here late. This is gonna be the setup tonight. Spent some time putting the tarp up and then I realized I wasn't gonna be able to get the stakes in for the bivy, so I'm just gonna cowboy under there tonight. It's cold, there ain't no bugs anyway. Ooh. Easily's gonna camp right here. Bob's right here. And we got my pops camping right here. There you go. Got a nice little area under here. Nice and spacious. That's easily over there. Bob's behind him. So much room under here too. I'm really close to the bottom right here just because the wind's whipping pretty hard, but see that clearance? It's like two and a half, almost three foot of clearance right there. <clears throat> if it wasn't as windy, I'd be closer to the other side, just, you know, having some protection for uh, the dew. So, I think I'm going to dig this on all the nights it's not raining. Wish I'd have got to try the, uh, oh, I tried to do the bivy tonight, too. I just gave up trying to drive the stakes into this little pea gravel stuff, so... Once I already had the tarp up, I was not trying to move it somewhere else. And it's freezing out here, so bugs aren't an issue. I'm digging it, though. Thinking about the uh, different possibilities of, you know, ways to pitch this tarp. <clears throat> I think it's going to be fun. I feel like most of the time I'm going to try to do it like this. Something flat with a lot of room underneath. Unless I know it's going to rain, then I'll, you know, buckle it down tight. 